I would think that it was a knockoff company just painting one to sell. That's where I stand on that. Hey guys, I'm back and today I am supremely pink. <laughs> Today I am very excited because one, I redecorated. Two, I picked up the majority of the newly released retro inspired strawberry shortcake three inch figurines. And I have seven out of the 10 that are available. Now I picked these up for $8.99 each from Toys R Us, but I believe in the States they are $4.99 and I'm not sure where you can get them. But there are some pretty exciting things happening in these cute little packages. They are definitely 80s inspired and they're doing it right. These bleh. these three inch figures are scented. Yes, if you have been missing and reminiscing about those subtle sweet fruity fragrances of your childhood, then worry not friends because you will find them in these solid figures. Do you like how I subtly scooted that in there? There is no posability with them. They are completely fixed in whatever position they come in. But I mean, if you're just an out of box collector or like to build a scene, these might just be your jam. So without further ado, let's switch down to the table and take a closer look at all seven of the characters that I have. Now you might be run blah, 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 blah. Now you might be wondering how the heck I managed to get seven when there are only six figures to collect and spoiler alert, I did not get my hands on strawberry here and none of them are duplicates by the way. You'll just have to watch and see and uh, figure it out or just, you know, be a cheater genius and realize I got some chase figures. Anyways, so first up we have Raspberry Tart. The artwork for her is absolutely adorable. This is her card. I'm a super fan of the 80s art style. And inside we have the same image that's on the back of the box, which is all six characters as well as four chase characters. If we turn her card around, it says Raspberry Tart is rather outspoken. She has a quick mind and an even quicker tongue. She is often involved in disagreements with others. Though she means well and is usually sweet, her words tend to get her in trouble. Sounds like me. And here she is. Stay. Oh darn, come on. Yeah, no, no, no. Here we have Miss Raspberry Tart, who has a pale skin complexion in a super pastel pale pink, what? No. In a super pale pink pastel pair of running shoes, which match her dress decorated in little dark pink dots along the bottom, and her hat, which also has a raspberry on top and a little green leaf. The front of her hat has a bit of a patch, or perhaps it was meant to be the brim, which is striped with green and white, and that totally matches her stockings. Her face is super cute with pink eyes, freckles on her cheeks and nose, bright blah blah blah. What? She has bright pink curly hair. There you go, that's what I was trying to say which matches her sleeves and her bloomers, commonly known as ruffled shorts. I call them bloomers or bumpers because I'm a weirdo. Finally, she comes holding a bright pink spoon in the right hand and an ice cream sundae in the left. I really love that bright green color. As for her scent, raspberry tart smells like raspberries. Overall, she is a really good quality and the only issue I have with her, honestly, is the foot placement because while it's a very cute pose, it is definitely not possible to have her stand unassisted. So if you are an out of box collector, you might need to use some hot glue or nanotape to stick her down. Come on, model for the people. All right, that's not gonna happen. Next up, we have the super adorable Miss Apple Dumplin'. And she's posed in this super cute way, like <laughs> here she is on the front of her card. She is so cute. And on the back, because from now on, I am going to skip the insides since it's the exact same checklist. It says, Apple Dumplin' is a baby who lives in Strawberry Land. Smaller and less independent than the older Strawberry Land kids, Apple has also proven to be more than capable of taking care of herself when the situation warrants. She often rides upon her beloved pet, Tea Time Turtle. And here is Little Miss Apple Dumplin' who has a pale skin complexion, looking absolutely adorable in some striped green and white socks, wearing a one-piece jumper? No, a jumper is a sweater, what is this? It looks like a bathing suit, but it's a onesie. But either way, there's an apple on the front and she's posed in this super cute way, like, <laughs> who, me? I didn't do anything. That was a terrible kid's voice. Anyways, she is super adorable with her orange curls, freckled 
freckled little cheeks there, and the palest green eyes I've ever seen. And as if she wasn't already cute enough, her oversized yellow bonnet with green polka dots is absolutely adorable. It just makes her look like an old-fashioned baby. And the best thing about Apple Dumplin' is that she comes with her little tea time turtle pal down here, and that means she has an even bigger flat base. So, in a perfect world, yay! She can stand completely unassisted. And as she very fancily, not so quite fancy, but whatever, twirls, I'll just let you know that overall her quality is excellent. As for her smell, it kind of just smells like fruit, but it's probably supposed to be apple. And you know what I just noticed? Apple Dumplin's head is much bigger than raspberry tarts. That is so weird. Considering she's a baby, why does she have such a big head? But whatever, let's not judge her. Moving on. Oh, I dropped that. Moving on. Next up, we have Miss Orange Blossom. She is an artist. Look how cute she is. Oh my goodness. And she likes oranges. Could you have guessed that? Probably not. So her card says, Orange Blossom is sweet, shy, and very humble. She sounds like me. She is quite an artistic talent, and everyone in Strawberry Land knows they can count on her creative expertise. She is very soft-spoken and lets her beautiful works of art speak for themselves. She is very well liked by all, even though she is often a quiet observer. Okay, now she does not sound like me anymore. And here she is. It looks like her feet are flat. So, okay, never mind. I lied. They are just obscure enough to not be flat. Let's try this again. Here we have Miss Orange Blossom. She's got a light brown skin complexion and comes wearing the same stockings as pretty much everybody in Strawberry Land, which are green and white. She's also wearing some light orange shoes with white little daisies on the front, a yellow dress with what looks like polka dots on camera, but up close, they are in fact flowers. And a light orange collar with ruffles and a pink bow for the top. And this totally matches her hat. So once again, we've got yellow here for the ruffled brim with those same white flowers. And the top section is that light orange with a big old white daisy. She's got dark brown, super curly hair, brown eyes, a super cute smile with freckles going across her cheeks and nose. Finally, she comes holding a paint palette as well as a paintbrush. And it looks like she is using the color purple. And as you might have guessed, she smells lightly of oranges. And you know what's better than one orange blossom? Oh wait, that's right, she doesn't stand up, hold on. Two orange blossoms, because I have one of the Chase figures. It's the exact same shape and everything. And since she's the exact same pose as our original orange blossom, I can only assume, yep, correctly it seems, that she is unable to stand. Well, ain't that a shame. <laughs> Oh, snap. Now, before I move on, I'll just point out, I definitely prefer the painted figure because although it always seems special to be able to find one of the chase figurines, in this case here, we only have a painted face and arms and the rest is gonna be translucent in color to match whatever the, uh, I suppose, color or fruit theme is for the figure. So it's not all that special to me and I could definitely live without it. Or at least that's how I feel so far. But the quality on both is equally perfect. So that doesn't play into it. It's just they don't seem all that fabulous. It almost just looks like her head is too big. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Next up, we have Huckleberry Pie. He looks absolutely adorable in his artwork, which is no surprise. In fact, all of them have been looking fabulous. Look at him, he's so cute. What is this little straw hat? I love it, I love it, I love it. And on the back, we of course have some information, which says Huckleberry Pie is Strawberry's neighbor. He is a bit messy and always looking for fun. He loves a good joke, going fishing, playing, and just having a good time. He reluctantly helps Strawberry with her chores, but usually ends up having fun. And here he is with a little basket of huckleberries, and Mr. Huckleberry Pie here has a pale skin complexion, bright red hair, which makes me think Scarecrow vibes, but to be honest, it's most likely because of his straw hat. Look, he's got a little huckleberry up there. <laughs> Anyways, he's got blue eyes and the same little freckled cheeks and nose that everybody else had. And for his outfit, he's wearing a long sleeve pink shirt with some dark blue overalls and a green and white striped bandana, which matches the rolled up pant leg cuffs sitting atop his brown work boots. And of course, as mentioned, he does in fact have a little basket of berries in his hands. And everything on him looks fantastic. Just in case you were wondering, not a single plastic hair is out of place. And guys, he's got flat feet. So let's see how we do. Hey! 
Yay! Ah! Oh, I almost lost the card. Hold on. <laughs> Let's try that again. Look at him. Look at how fabulous and stuff. And when it comes to scent, he smells like berries. And finally, we are on our last figure, Miss Lemon Meringue. And she looks really cute and very, very yellow. Um, what are you doing, Harvey? Lie down. <laughs> Harvey wants to get in the video. What are you doing, buddy? Why are you so cute? <laughs> Hi, do you smell them? Is that what's the matter here? They do smell mighty good. Is that what's happening? You think you got dessert? I gotta work, Harv. Stop distracting me with your cuteness. Which brings me, as I was saying, to my fifth and final character in this flawless transition, Miss Lemon Meringue. She looks super cute in her artwork there. And on the back of her card, it says, Lemon Meringue is super sweet and is always put together from her head to her her toes. She never shies away from a mirror and makes sure she looks and acts just right on every occasion. She loves to give her opinion and everyone goes to her for advice on etiquette. Now, Interestingly enough, Lemon Meringue here is holding on to a bunch of flowers, but instead of that, if we turn her card back around, there's an image of Lemon Meringue holding on to a hand mirror. And that, my friends, is what she looks like in figure form. And you know what? I'm just gonna find out right away. Can she stand? Oh, for a second I thought we had it. Hold on. Nope, nope, nope. She is so top heavy. Oh, no! I got it! Yeah! Okay, this is fabulous. And there's Harvey again. She has a pale skin complexion and a supreme love of all things yellow. She's wearing yellow shoes with little yellow bows. What did my voice just do there? She's got the same striped green and white stockings, a yellow dress with darker yellow polka dots. It does have a frilly white collar, but come on, it's mostly yellow. Speaking of yellow, in case you didn't have enough of it yet, we've got some dark yellow curly hair and the palest blob of meringue acting as a hat. If that's too much yellow for you, she does have little pops of color in the form of super light green eyes, pink flowers in her hair with little green leaves, green pockets, and of course her white and green stockings that match everybody else's. And as I pointed out before, she is holding on to a mirror. This one is in her left hand and a dark pink color. And guys, she is scented in a lovely lemon smell. It is not overpowering. It smells really good. Very subtle, but wait, there's more! If that wasn't enough, I've also got Miss Lemon Meringue in her chase form. So just like Orange Blossom, this is gonna be the exact same figure, except only her hands and face are painted. The rest of her is translucent yellow with embedded golden glitter. And two things that I'm gonna point out, her eye color is actually different. It's kind of just a slightly tinted shade of peach, whereas the full color Lemon Meringue has green eyes. And because this this chase figure here is a lighter shade than the orange blossom one. We can actually see the uh, connection point of where the neck peg is glued into the body and it kind of looks terrible to me. And finally, what can I tell you about these chase figures? Other than the things I pointed out already, the face and the arms being the only painted parts, there's not really much to talk about. The figurine itself still has the exact same amount of detail, the little flowers, ruffles, the bows, every single little indentation to form the hair curls, all of that good stuff, which is fabulous. The quality is still just as good, but it seems to me that this is just a painted skin on top of the translucent body, whereas the original is poured colored plastics, resulting in a much nicer looking finished figurine. See how the face on this one, other than being glary, almost looks more like a cabbage patch versus this one here, which just looks a lot better in my opinion. So um, as cool as it would be to have a complete collection, I don't really think that I am too sold on the chase aspect. Right now, for some reason, all I'm seeing is trolls. She looks like she's got troll hair, doesn't she? <laughs> and just to once again point out my awesome observation skills, the painted face on this chase figure looks so much less nice than the actual figure, which once again looks like poured molded plastic. It's got a nice matte finish for the paint and everything looks fabulous. Yes, the chase figure does have all those same details and whatnot, but I'm just not feeling her face, you know? Not only does it have the wrong color eyes and I can see her her neck peg glued in there, but come on. If this wasn't by the same company and a known Chase special
official figure. I would think that it was a knockoff company just painting one to, you know, sell. <laughs> so that's where I stand on that. But if I had to choose, I would prefer Orange Blossom over Lemon Meringue, for sure. And of course, we cannot forget about the final shocking difference that will forever change your mind about wanting to collect the Chase figures of the new figurine exclusive Strawberry Shortcake series. But I'm gonna tell you that in person. Okay guys, oh, I almost knocked something over. Okay guys, that's it for me and all of my new Strawberry Shortcake minus the actual Strawberry Shortcake three inch figurines from TLS slash the Royal, what were they called? The Royal Subjects Los Angeles slash chibi little mini figurines. My nostalgic heart is throbbing and smelling oh so delicious right now. Overall, I'm very happy with these figurines. I feel like they have a nice good weight to them. They're pretty heavy. So not all of them are able to stand unassisted. Oh, I just dropped her raspberry tart. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Okay, if you are an out of box collector, it does make it a little bit different if you want a freestanding figure. They are very well made. I have very little, if any, flaws, but I'm just gently scratching with my thumbnail and it's coming off. So it's almost like a little bit of excess plastic just from where the molds probably squished and extruded a bit. There are only two major problems that I have with these products. Actually, there are three. And and it only involves the Chase characters. In truth, I don't think it's worth it to collect the Chase figures. If you want to collect a full set, by all means, go ahead. Especially since you can see right through the packaging, you'll have no problems whatsoever. But overall, I just don't think they're worth it because not only can I see where the neck is glued into the body, which I don't really find all that cool, the paint jobs are just less than fabulous. They are completely covered. I will grant them that. But in comparison to the originals, it's very obvious that it is just painted plastic and it really does not look as good as the originals with their poured colored plastic or whatever it's made out of. But yeah, I don't really think I like them at all. And the worst part is they are not scented. Only the original styled figurines are, so that's a little bit wah wah. I mean, it's possible that if I were to get the last two Chase figures, I might like them more, but I can see right now that they would be Huckleberry Pie. Um, what? No. Strawberry Shortcake and Raspberry Tart. And I feel like they would kind of let me down. So I'm just gonna go out on record here saying, I don't think the Chase figures are worth it. Save that money, guys. That's my personal opinion, unless you truly want them. I think I will not look for the others and instead try to collect all the rainbow bright ones because I saw those at Toys R Us too. So actually I should probably go get those now so they don't sell out. Nostalgia is huge right now. And if you're a kid alt like me, side note, Toys R Us actually has a kid alt section on their website, which is pretty cool. Anyways, if you're a kid alt like me, then you might just be super into all of these new retro throwback figurines and collectibles that are coming out. Anyways, I've prattled on for far too long. So if you know somebody who would enjoy today's video, then please share it with them. Maybe they love nostalgia too. Maybe they want to collect some little strawberry shortcake figures so they can stick them up their nose and smell them like superstar being super duper weird. <laughs> I don't know. And who are you to stop them if that's what they really want to do in life, okay? <gasps> who are you to stop them? And <laughs> on a more sane note. If you enjoyed the video yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below what you liked or didn't like about today's video. Which figures are your favorite? Sadly, we can't include strawberry in that because I could not find her. But we've got orange blossom, lemon meringue, apple dumpling, raspberry tart, and of course, huckleberry pie. Also, let me know, what do you think about the chase figures? The chases are not worth the chase to me if you know what I mean. Hopefully you do, because I feel like that was clever. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, let's go buy some Rainbow Bright. Stick around. Do you think I should buy those? Because <laughs> if so, I need to go buy them now. Let me know down below. Are you interested in those too? Whoa! Ah, poor Raspberry Tart. It's always her. Anyways, bye.